Drone surveying is a great technique for stockpile inventory. I will show you how to use the virtual surveyor software to set materials, calculate tonnage, and how to create a nice report. And if you make stockpile inventories at regular intervals, you're going to love the tips you will find in this video. Stay tuned. Let's have a look at the site first. I am working in a port area. Dredged material is brought to this site where it is processed to aggregates. Initially, it is deposited at this location. Then a bulldozer puts it in this funnel which will transport it into this separator. There, the material is split into a number of fractions depending on its size. On the left, we have the smallest fraction, sand. And as we move to the right, we have coarser materials. First granular gravel and then coarse gravel. After the material is processed, it is loaded on a ship through this conveyor. The excess material is stored on site. Sand, gravel. Waste sludge is contained within these enclosed walls here. All right. Now let's start with the first inventory. Step one, materials. The first step is to define the materials. I open the material editor. I click add material. I type sand. I add a density. 1.6 ton per cubic meter. And a value. 1 euro 25 per ton. And I add the material. I do the same for gravel. And coarse gravel. For sludge, I put no value as sludge represents a cost. Let me save these materials as a template for future use. File. Save as template. Aggregates. Confirm. Step 2. Conveyors. Drone data often has conveyors hanging over the stockpiles. I need to remove these first. I switch to 2D mode and hide the ortho photo. I enable Replace Terrain and click around the conveyor. Click, 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 and right click to complete. I go back to 3D mode and inspect the result. Looks good. All the other conveyors are removed with the same technique. Step 3. The first stockpile. I switch to 2D view and center on the pile again. I enable boundary and trace along these walls. Click. 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 At the front, I go a little further. I right-click to complete. Then I switch back to 3D view. Tools. I set the reference type to flat minimum. This will calculate the volume with reference to the lowest point of the boundary. This is gravel. I click stockpile. The result is shown here on the bottom left. 3,050 cubic meters. 4,000 metric tons. And a value of 3,500 euros. I see that the reference level was set at 90 centimeters. Nice. I could apply this technique to the entire site and generate my report. But it is not so simple. This site is not flat. The piles are all on gentle slopes so that the water in the material can drain away. I have 1 meter 21 on the back and 90 centimeters on the front of this pile. Also, the sludge is completely enclosed within this wall. I cannot use the minimum elevation method here. How do I solve that? Step 4. Reference level. 
I'm going to create a reference level by placing points at the ground level. I select a boundary around my site. And I generate a 5 meter low pass grid. This process takes a short while. You see that points are generated at the lower locations, but it is not perfect. And I will need to remove the points that are not on the ground manually. With a larger grid size, I would have fewer edits, but also fewer points and reference detail. So, it is a trade off. Some of the points are on the piles. So, I select all the pile outlines. Tools. Select within. And I delete them all at once. I continue to use arrays to remove the remaining non ground points. Click. 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 And so on. Then I disable all items except the cleanest point grid. Triangulate all. Modify terrain. I disable the ortho photo and still see some problems. Erase. And I remove these points as well. Click. Click. Then I triangulate again. Modify terrain. Now it looks good. My reference level is ready. And I am going to drop the outlines to that level. At this moment, they are still at the elevation of the piles. I select all pile outlines. Tools. To terrain. And they drop down. Triangulate within. This converts the outlines to reference surfaces for my volume calculations. I return to my terrain from March 31st. I enable the ortho photo and activate the layer where I want to keep the stockpile. I set the material for now to undefined and I click stockpile. The calculations are done for every pile. Now I assign the material for each pile. I press and hold control and select these four piles. I set them to sludge. This is sand. Gravel. And so on. Step 5. The stockpile report. I am ready to generate the report when I have assigned all materials. Export. PDF report. Click Save. It takes some time before the report is generated, but it will open automatically. Let's have a look. The title of the report comes from the Virtual Surveyor project name. The date corresponds to the name of the terrain state. The logo can be set in the settings. The author is retrieved from your personal Virtual Surveyor ID. The report itself shows the overview map. A summary table per material. As I didn't set a density or a value for the sludge, it shows empty. I then get the numbers per pile. And finally, I get a screenshot and table per pile. The table on the right shows the basic information such as the material, volume, tonnage, and value. But it also shows the measurement reference, in this case the surfaces, and the height of the pile. I scroll down and see the report is OK. I'm ready now to send that to the site manager. How can I repeat this operation over time in an efficient way? Step 6. Create a baseline. The baseline is a terrain that represents an empty site. I can use this baseline for future stockpile inventories and avoid creating reference surfaces. I rename this terrain state to Baseline. Enter. I select the surfaces. Modify terrain. I disable the surfaces. And I hide the ortho photo. My site looks completely empty now. 
It will be very easy now to do quantity surveys at regular intervals in the future. I've added the next survey for March 31st. I have again removed the conveyors. I switch to the baseline. I copy the outlines and switch back to March 31st. Paste. I drape the outlines to the terrain so that I can visually verify if they all cover the piles in this survey. Most of the outlines look fine. But I need to update this one here. Edit Vertex. I click, hold Shift, and click again to select this range. Delete. I drag this vertex here. And I move that one as well. Now I select all the outlines to calculate the volumes. But as the reference type, I set the terrain state baseline. This calculates the stockpile within this outline with reference to the baseline, which was the empty site. And after I assign the materials, I can create another PDF report. I can repeat this process for every monthly inventory. This works quickly, and I keep all months in a single project. Now I want you to try. Try the techniques I have showed in this video and comment on your findings below. Also, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned with our latest releases. Or explore one of our other videos that will help you work productively with drone surveying.